I got cake. We were gonna, we were starting to film this video and then a woman outside this room was like, do you want cake? And I was like, yeah. There's that old saying of like, you know, let them eat cake, right Marie Antoinette? Let them eat cake. Okay. This is a tip in entrepreneurship. If someone ever, if you're in the middle of a business meeting, if you're in the middle of closing a deal, and someone comes up to you and says, hey, I need you to drop what you're doing and eat this cake. Drop what you're doing and eat the cake. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Tools of the Trade. My name is Jonathan, this is Noodle, and this is, this is Tools of the Trade. This is the show where we find out what everyday items, everyday entrepreneurs need to get through their day. And today, we are featuring a box curated by Cynthia Johnson, who is a marketing and PR badass out of California. So some of you might recognize Cynthia Johnson from some work we've done with her in the past. She was listed as one of the top personal branding experts in 2017 by Entrepreneur and is one of the top 50 marketers on Snapchat by Mashable. So Cynthia has clout to her name. She has her own PR marketing firm called Bell Plus Ivy and she's someone who we are so uh, grateful to be able to see the items that she curated for us. Gonna open this box. Gonna do 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 do. Gonna. Do you see the large donut? So the first item we have in the Cynthia Johnson box is uh, what, what looks to be sort of a large donut. I believe this is a throw pillow, but it is ultimately a donut. I don't know a whole lot about Cynthia personally. From here, I can say that I think she has a penchant for whimsy. So this makes me think that this woman started her business and she never kind of lost sight of that she can have fun, that she can enjoy herself with it. Is it also weird that I started this episode by eating a random piece of cake that was delivered to me? My therapist actually calls Noodle a little donut. What do you think of this here donut? He is indifferent to the donut. That is something we've picked up. He is indifferent to the donut. Okay, the next item we have are organic gummy cups. Okay, so it says right here um, that it's like biting into cubilic, cubil, cub, cubilic kiss, cubilicis, cubil, do you know what that word is? Based on these gummies, I think I can pull a couple things together. So she loves these because she just likes to snack on something sweet when she's in a creative meeting. Uh, I think she's got a little bit of a sweet tooth and instead of going for like a hardcore, you know, like a peanut M&M, right, that you can just kind of waste away eating. You know, I can't tell you how many evenings I've spent just knee deep in a bowl of those. <laughs> They've got the little sugar on the outside so you know they're tasty. They've got raspberry, blackberries, and boysenberries. They're gelatin-free, gluten-free, GMO-free, no corn syrup, vegan, kosher. They're California approved. Okay, <laughs> the next item we've got is another item that I really can't wait to pull out of this box right now because it's pasta. Because it's pasta. <laughs> They're noodles! Noodles not a spaghetti. He is more of a stuffed shell. So Cynthia loves noodles. That's something that we know. I don't know if it's particularly spaghetti or if it's some of that bomb, those bomb noodles you can get on the street somewhere in LA. Uh, but Cynthia really likes noodles. So I love this because I think she's someone who works really hard and she knows how to treat herself and she knows what she likes. And there's nothing better than having a hard day at work, a long day at work, whatever you might be doing, whether you run your own PR firm, whether you're a blogger, whether you repurpose wicker furniture, whatever it might be, there's nothing better than eating afterwards. We got a marinara sauce here. This looks like a good marinara sauce. It's called Yo Mama's Original Marinara Sauce. Bam, right? Kind of a two-parter. You know, you can't have one without the other. You can, but they're, you know, it's not the same, right? It's like getting me or Noodle separately. Like Noodle and I are a pair. We're strongest when we're together. Guys, we're getting information kind of as we're doing this, which is sort of how this whole process works. But we found a little more out about the red sauce and the pasta outside of the fact that they're delicious. So here's another item in this box that you're gonna, that's all gonna tie together. So here's, bam, biohazard coffee. So here's something we learned about Cynthia. She is not unlike a lot of our other entrepreneurs in the fact that she drinks coffee every single day. She wakes up with coffee. I'm sure she has more than one cup. I'm sure she even starts to kind of, yeah, you wanna smell coffee? She said that if there was one thing that she could eat every single day for the rest of her life, or as, 
She said that she would eat pasta and red sauce as her last meal. If I were asked what my last meal would be, I think I'd probably just say, I think I'd pull a Ron Swanson and just say breakfast food. I think I would need eggs, I think I'd need bacon. But Cynthia likes her pasta and her red sauce, and I bet that she, whether it's this sauce or another one, I bet she knows how to find the good stuff. So the next item we have in the Cynthia Johnson box is... Okay, it's just a little zippy. All right, it's a blue little zippy. First of all, zippies are amazing because it's never a bad time to put a zippy on. I have one at my desk because when I sit at my desk, I walk in, it's a fine temperature, and then the temperature will fluctuate, and I'll need a little boop. But Cynthia tells us that she, it's not this, it's not this hoodie in particular, but she has one, a blue hoodie, that her husband gave her a few years ago that is a security blanket for her. So she says that she wears it whenever she needs an extra boost of confidence, or when she needs to feel like home, or when she just needs to feel at her A game. And now, if you win this box, you can get your own blue hoodie and start your own, you know, make your own memories in it. The next item we have in the Cynthia Johnson box is... Oh, it's a portable charger! Okay, so portable chargers are really useful. Not only... Ooh! Ooh! This one straight up plugs into the wall. This one uh, actually has uh, a little sort of the, the outlet prongs on the back of it so you can actually charge it just literally in an outlet. This is a really incredible item for any business owner to have. Amazing, I love it, so thoughtful. I'm gonna put it right on my donut. Okay, and the last item we have in the Cynthia Johnson box is. It's in a bag that's called My Box, which I love, because it was a bag called a box in a box quite meta. And there's a box inside of the bag. Are these tampons? Yeah, they're organic tampons. <laughs> so I'm not gonna walk you through what a tampon is. If you need to know what that is, I would argue talking to your mother, or honestly at this point, put your dad on the spot. So she said, ugh, when she put this in there. So I bet that this is not necessarily an item that she loves as much as an item that is very useful and it's something that you know most women have to deal with. I'm hoping, and I think this is kind of, might be true, because I know they do this at WeWorks and I know they did this at my old office I was in too, is I bet the bathrooms at her business are probably stocked with this stuff. All right, you guys, that is everything. That is everything in the Cynthia Johnson box. We had donut pillow, we had pasta sauce, we had tampons. Honestly, it sounds like a wild Saturday night to me, just to, just to really kind of put a button on it. I am, again, I'm so grateful that Cynthia took the time to curate this box for us. I love seeing these little insights into these people's lives and the things that they do to take care of themselves and help set themselves up for success in whatever their business is. If you liked this video and you want to see other videos like it, or you want to see just like more tools of trade videos, go ahead and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can see all the content that we have coming out every single day. And I encourage you to ring the bell so that you can get notifications every time a new Tools of the Trade video or another video series that GoDaddy produces goes live. For Noodle, for myself, and for, honestly, for the box of tampons. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait for next week.